Hello, my name is Tricia Jong. I'm a technical evangelist with IBM Tivoli Storage Manager. Today I'm going to walk you through the TSM 634641 Operations Center. The Operations Center is very easy to access. You just open up a web browser and you type the name of the machine, that's the um, hub server, and then the port. And when it was installed, you probably specified 11090 as the secure port and 11080 as the normal port. So in our case we're using the secure port and then slash OC. That'll bring up your Tivoli Storage Manager Operation Center logon. You log on with your, your Tivoli Storage Manager administrator name and password. When you log on to the Operation Center you'll be immediately brought to the morning cup of coffee view as we like to call it. And this is the general overview of the Operation Center showing you the clients that this Tivoli Storage Manager server is protecting, showing you if there's any alerts and what your network traffic is, and then showing you information about the TSM server or servers, we can actually protect more than one server, in that environment including the databases and activity logs as well as the storage pools. From this overview the administrator is easily able to see if there's anything needing their attention. For instance over here in the clients we can see that we've got 12 of them at risk. Now what at risk is is it means that those particular machines have not been backed up or have not had a successful backup in the last 24 hours or whatever you've set the at-risk category to be. You as an administrator can set it to be less or more than 24 hours. You can also see if there's any alerts that need to be paid attention to. Now these alerts will be shown um, in color-coded. If you had some very critical alerts those would show up as red. In our case we just have a few warnings. If there were info messages those would show up in blue. And those alerts are also divided into different categories. Um, this alert, these three alerts are in a TSM client category, but you might also have something showing up in your inventory or on your TSM server or in the systems um, folder itself. In the center we have our services and this is a quick overview of what type of data is being sent to the Tivoli Storage Manager server. We can see that we have backup data as well as archive data being sent to this TSM server but we don't have any space management or HSM data being sent over there. We can see what the network traffic was previously and what it is currently. And then over on the TSM server we can see if the servers are up and in this case our one server is up. We can see the status of the database, the activity logs, and the archive logs and all of these look to be in good status. We can see if there's any processes or sessions that are running. And we can see the status of our storage pool. In this case we just have a disk storage pool. We don't have anything on tape or in our copy storage pool. This environment is a very simple lab environment. On the top here we have a bar that you can drill down into the different areas including our overviews and our alerts, the clients, the services, the servers, the storage pools, and the storage devices. We also have who's logged on, in our case admin, admin is the administrator who's logged on. And if you chose you could simply click log out from there. The little world icon right there allows us to bring up a command line. It also allows us to go in and look at the settings. And then the question mark would lead us to additional information about the overview, about documentation, or specific information about this operation center. Let's go ahead and drill down into the TSM clients. Once again we can do that by either clicking on this box right here or we can go up here and click on clients. Now as you notice this top part here looks very similar to what we already saw. It's a nice general overview. But then down here we get specific information about the different clients. At the top here we have the titles of each of the categories. And these categories can be moved around. If we wanted to move the locked over there, we could easily move it around. We can also click and choose to show other things, like maybe I do want to see what the platforms are of these different TSM clients, but I don't really care um, if they are specifically doing migrates and recalls. 
Now this information will be saved so the next time you log on as admin your client information here will be presented in the same fashion. So I can click also on the specific names and that will sort it. I can also do searches so if I want to search for a specific machine In this case, it picked up the server name as well as that specific client that was over there. Now I can drill down into those clients by simply clicking on them, and that'll give me additional information. Here I can see that there was a large backup on Monday of last week, and now we've had our incremental backups occurring. We're just, in this case, three files, and then one file, and then one file, and four files. And if you look here, you can see a little green line, but not much information has been sent over the past two weeks outside of the initial backup. Also up here, if you did have a lot of activity over the 24 hours, you would see a solid line. In our case, we just had a short backup, and if we hover above that dot, we can see that there was a backup on May 7th that occurred at 5.14 and was done within a few, minute, a few seconds. It does tell us our platform, as well if there's any current sessions available. If a contact or an email was assigned to this particular machine, we would also see that here. You can drill down into the Properties tab, as well as into which file spaces are being protected for this particular machine. In, in case of our backup, we can see that we have the C drive being protected. In case of Archive, we can see that also files on the C drive are being archived. If you have client access set up, that would show up here for remote access. We can see that this machine is currently at risk. It looks like it missed a schedule. And if we go back and look at more client information, we can see the different at-risk categories. Now the at-risk categories will include things like policy problems, or if they missed a schedule, or if there's other types of errors, we will get a generic overview in this at-risk category. If we wanted to, for instance, just look at virtual machines, and by the way, if you want to know what a virtual machine is, you can hover above what we classify as virtual machines, and it will pop up a definition. Same with system machines, we can hover above that, or our application machines. So let's just dig down into virtual machines here. When we look at our virtual machines, we can see the type of virtual machine it is. In this case, we've got all VMware images being backed up. We can see when it was last accessed. And of course, we can drill down into the virtual machine and find out additional information if we'd like. OK, let's go back to our overview. And let's take a look at the alert category. In this alert category, we can see we only currently had three errors that are being propagated up to alerts. Now alerts are set up automatically when you install Operation Center, but you can go in and customize those. And alerts are based off of the activity log information in the TSM server. And so you can base a alert off of the error message, the warning message, or the information message that shows up on, in the activity log. And then you can also decide, well, this type of error should be specific to virtual machines or specific to inventories. Or in our, our case, this was a TSM client error. So we can go down here and we can see what the error was. We can see that an invalid password was submitted when this particular client tried to access it. Now with an alert, you can actually assign that alert to a specific person. And what this does is it says this administrator is now being handed this alert to resolve. So let's go ahead and assign this alert and we'll assign it to admin. Larger operations you might have multiple TSM administrators, maybe some administrators who are dedicated to virtual machines. And so you might want to say now this specific error belongs to administrator. And then that administrator, if they've set up to receive emails for that specific alert, they will receive an email telling them they need to go in and take a look at this or when this administrator logs in and sees that this is assigned to themselves, they can go out, investigate, resolve it, and then they can come back in here and say, you know what, I've taken care of that, let's go ahead and close out that alert. 
and now that alert will be removed from the queue. Now the alerts do have a built-in life cycle, even if you don't have administrators going in and being assigned and, and then actually closing those alerts. And these alerts fall into the active, the inactive, or the closed category. And you can set up these time frames inside of our settings and when you set up Operation Center to begin with. We've taken the default here for 8 hours, 8 hours, and 1 hour. You can also click on multiple alerts and then click on that and assign them to a specific um, user that way as well. Another nice thing you can do with alerts or with any of these screens that you find in the Operations Center is you can export them to a file. So let's go ahead and just click on ex the export button here and we'll go ahead and say yeah let's go ahead and export it out to Notepad and we'll go ahead and put these in nice order that you could use some other type of program to pull them out from. If you did have Excel installed on your machine you could also export them to Microsoft Excel. Let's go ahead and take a look at services now. By clicking on services I can find out about my policies for backup and restore and for my archive and retrieves and I can go in and I can get additional information about those specific policies by simply double clicking on them. If I go into my server category I can see which TSM servers we're monitoring. In this case we're just monitoring one of them. If you did have multiple servers those would show up here in a line. You would have multiples listed. You can click on the server and we can find out more information about it. Find out the IP addresses, the schedules, and everything else. If you want to add in an additional spoke server to be monitored by this specific hub server, you can click on Connect Spoke. You would enter the spoke server name. Once again, this is a TSM server, as well as the address and the port that it should be connected at. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at storage pools. Here are the different storage pools that show up in our disk storage pool. We can also get a quick look by simply clicking, clicking Quick Look. That will give us information about the type of storage pool it is and if it should be migrated onto other places. We can go into Storage Devices and this would show up your tapes and your disks and any, any other type of storage devices that are being used for storage pools. If we want to open a command line, I can go to the World icon and then click on Command Line. From the command line you can enter any TSM server command for instance, query stat. That'll show the status of the TSM server. Command line is I can use my arrow keys to see what other commands I've issued and scroll back and forth. I can also just highlight and copy information directly out of the screen there. If you did have multiple TSM servers being monitored from this drop down right here, you could pick which TSM server you wanted to send that command to. Let's go back to the overview page. Now you will notice it refreshing on a certain interval and it will tell you down here at the bottom when the last data was collected. You can specify how often that the, should be refreshed. That is simply a set command and it, and it was also set up during your Tivoli Storage Manager Operation Center install. So this version of the Operations Center gets you lots of visual information about what's happening in your TSM server, client, and networking environment. It makes it very simple to find out what problems there are that need to be addressed. If you do need to issue any commands to help resolve those problems, you can go in Command Line. As you can see, the Tivoli Storage Manager Operations Center is very easy to use and very easy to dig down on to gain additional information on pieces and to gather information about the status of your TSM environment. Thank you for your time today.